My main priority is to stand up for my constituents, to give them a strong voice, both in Leicester West, where my constituency is, but predominantly here in Parliament. So government, other MPs know what people in Leicester West want, what they need, and how we're going to go about getting it. It's predominantly um, blue. I think it's predominantly a Conservative government. I think they've got most out of the deal and I think while the Lib Dems have got a few things in there, some of which I support, like their pupil premium that gives more money for schools and kids in poor areas, like Leicester West, if that's what happens there it would be good, but I think most of all they are predominantly Conservative colour um, because they're going to be making quite a lot of big cuts in public spending which I think look like they might affect some of the poorest parts of the country including Leicester West. Absolutely. I mean, I've always been in favour of a fairer system of voting. I think it will help make people feel like their voice counts. So I want a more proportionate system of voting. But I think it's quite important that we keep the link with constituencies. One of the things I feel very powerfully when I'm here in Westminster is I know who I'm here to serve. And if you break the link with constituencies, if you have a totally proportionate system of, uh, of voting, then I don't think that'll work. Well, I'm a bit of a running nut. I go running most mornings. I did 10K this morning, which is uh, you know, good for my heart, but it's not very good for my knees. And actually, when you're sitting in the chamber, your knees are up quite close to you, so they hurt quite a lot. I like comedy, I like going to see gigs, and you know, I like uh, watching films when I've got time. And I have this thing going called Film Club, where I get people to advise me of what's their favorite film and then I watch it to see whether I like it too. So if anyone watching this has got a suggestion, uh, they can send it in. I'm going to go and table some parliamentary questions about whether the government is going to be cutting this programme called Building Schools for the Future, which is both built new buildings, refurbishing schools, but also helping to change the culture within schools. And then I'm going to go off to uh, Prime Minister's questions to see what's happening there.